Good morning, everybody. Hi, I'm Dusty Palm. I'm the 2023 senior class president, and I'm now going to ask you to please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance. Good morning, everybody, and welcome parents, families, the Colville School Board of Trustees, and most importantly, the graduating class of 2023. <laughs> Such a nice day out tonight, uh, well, today. <laughs> so my name is Brad Gross, and I'm the principal here at Colville High School. It is an honor to be celebrating this day with our graduates and their families. I would like to start out by acknowledging and thanking the Colville School District Maintenance and Custodial Crew for doing such a wonderful job getting the facilities ready. The Colville High School teaching and support staff for their hard work and dedication which made this day possible. It's an honor for me to be able to say, oh, yeah, let's give them class. <laughs> so it's an honor for me to be able to say a few words to our graduating class of 2023. Seniors, you have shown a great amount of perseverance and resilience along your journey at Colville High School. Graduation day is a milestone in each of your lives and everyone here has had a part in supporting you to this point. These past four years have only begun to prepare you for your next challenge, your own individual adventure, and your future life plans. Now is the time for you to take the next steps. As you look around, many of you are headed to college, trade school, the military, along with joining the workforce. I challenge themselves in a variety of occupations and life pursuits. Whatever the future brings to you, I am certain that you are destined for great things. I would like to challenge each of you to find what makes you happy, set high goals to get there, and never stop pushing to get better at whatever your path is. Your Colville High School Diploma is a key to open the doors for your future success. The question is, are you going to challenge yourself to get there? With every success comes a level of risk, a risk to take on something new and learn from the experience, no matter the outcome. Greatness comes from hard work and dedication, which is exactly what I've seen from each and every senior sitting here today. Abraham Lincoln once said, the best way to predict your future is to create it. I would like to end by challenging each and every one of you to go and create a future that one day you will look back on and be proud of. Every day, try to better yourselves along with lifting up those around you. Good luck on the next adventure, and you will always have a place here at Colville High School. Congratulations, class of 2023. I would now like to introduce the class of historian for the 2023, Kyra Beardsley. Good morning, everyone. Notice I didn't say it's been a good one because I'm going to be honest. Standing up here in front of you is absolutely terrifying. Mixed with my fear, though, I'm also incredibly excited and honored to get to be this year's historian. For those of you who don't know me, my name is Kyra Beardsley. Now, there's a reason I'm not a valedictorian, so please act like you don't notice if I mess something up, and please laugh along with my jokes. Okay, now that we have the formalities out of the way, let's dive in to the class of 23's history. 
Let me take us back to our prehistoric days, or maybe better known as our days at Hofstetter, back when our only anxiety came from having to tell our parents we flipped to a yellow card that day, and when popularity was based solely on who got to be a cruiser and deliver notes for the office. Some of us were even lucky enough to get our first kiss on the playground, and I think we all know who I'm talking about. Right, Mitch? <laughs> Luckily for him, even though he has seemed to forget the details, the rest of the class still remembers. For some of us, however, our days at Hofstetter were not so blissful. In first grade, Connor Kitt was devastated when Cameron Steen put him in a headlock, which resulted in both of them being sent to PR. I know a lot of you out there who spent your first, whoa, <laughs> your first few years of school in the PR room too. But then, finally, after three hard years of learning to read sight words and do basic math, those of us who didn't get held back to do our inability to in our inability to listen, moved on to Fort Colville. At the fort, we got our first taste of what it was like to be a big kid. We had to take multiplication quizzes every Friday morning. And for those of us who barely understood addition, those quizzes were no easy task. I'm not so sure that if we had to take that test today, that we'd pass it. Then there was also the honor of getting to be student of the week, where we thought we were pretty cool to get a $5 t-shirt and some McDonald's for lunch. The school's solution to burning off all the fast food they fed us was to force our PE classes to frequently run the time mile. There was no greater pain than the burning in our lungs and the embarrassment as Cannon Thompson lapped us. <laughs> I mean, seriously, that kid is still freakishly fast. But oh no, the fort didn't stop there with their physical with their physical torture. We also had very intense games of capture the flag and kickball every Friday at lunch, where two special classes were chosen to hash it out on the field. Most of these games often ended in at least two of us getting green slips and quite a few of us having to stand on the wall for the remainder of recess. But then, after the three longest years of our lives, we got to celebrate the end with field day, where they rewarded our hard work with bouncy houses and face paintings. I would like to point out that that's one thing the fort has done better than the high school. Because since high school started, I've yet to see one bouncy house or someone to paint our faces. But I am keeping my fingers crossed there's going to be one tonight at the senior all-nighter. <laughs> After we made it through the weird prepubescent stages at the fort, we moved up to the junior high. And that's when things got interesting. Those of us who struggled to keep our work straight with one class about had a mental breakdown when we discovered we had to do it for six. But thankfully for us, the teachers had some tricks to keep us all from crying in the bathroom stalls. We had our spirit assemblies where the ridiculously deep voiced older kids always beat us out for the spirit stick. We also had karaoke Fridays at lunch, which after talking with a lot of you, I seem to be the only one who actually enjoyed that. And then there was the annual end of the eighth grade silver trip. Silverwood trip, where everyone who remembered to turn in their permission slip got to spend the day at Silverwood with their friends, eating way too much junk food and making ourselves sick on the rides. Violet Johnston made herself so sick that she spent the whole bus ride back in a seat next to Miss McKellar, puking her guts out. <laughs> and speaking of Miss McKellar, I know there's not many things that we can all collectively agree on, but I think we're all able to agree that her class was one of the hardest and most stressful classes we've taken. There came a point when it didn't matter who was friends with who, because when it came to turning in that math homework, everyone joined together as one and helped to get at least a passing grade in the class. And somehow it worked, because we were all able to move on and, well, to move on and continue our education at the big old CHS. So, with our rose-colored glasses and our incredibly joyful outlook on life, we entered what can only be described as the most interesting four years of our lives. I originally had a different adjective, but Mr. Gross didn't approve. <laughs> Within the first few months of our freshman year, I think I'm speaking for all of us when I say those rose-colored glasses cleared up pretty quick. In these past few years, we have all seen things that I don't think you'd have the opportunity to witness anywhere other than at the one and only Colville High School. We have all got to witness at least three car crash car crashes in the parking lot. And if you haven't witnessed one, you've at least been in one because half of us never should have been allowed to get our licenses in the first place. <laughs> wow, it's almost like none of us actually did the 100 hours of driving for driver's ed. 
And let's talk about the boxing ring that was set up in the back parking lot. Considering the entire administration is here, I'm not gonna talk about the ones who came up with the idea, but I will say that it was pretty entertaining while it lasted. I know you guys are probably all dying to know who the best boxers at CHS, but sadly it got broken up before the championship round. And this class sure seems to have a habit of fighting as a way to resolve our issues, because there was also the time our freshman year that Cadence kept stealing Mitch Lindquist's Gatorade. So obviously, the only solution was to pour the rest of the said Gatorade on Cadence and then attempt to fight him. Man, it's really starting to sound like the school should have offered anger management as an elective. But deep down, I promise we all love each other. Okay, I'm about to... I'm about to wrap this up now, so bear with me. As Kanye West once said, if you have the opportunity to play this game of life, you need to appreciate every moment. A lot of people don't appreciate the moment until it's passed. Sadly, our days of school together have come to an end, and this chapter of our lives closes today. I have no doubt that each and every one of us sitting out here is going on to, go to do something amazing with their lives. We have spent our adolescence together, and we have all helped to shape each other into who we are today. I hope as we move forward, we all learn to appreciate every moment, because as we all know now, time flies, and there's nothing we can do to slow it down. So live each day to the fullest, and always remember where you came from. And now, after 13 strenuous years of education, in my way too long of a speech, we're finally done. Well, I mean, not done with this ceremony, because we still have the nine valedictorian speeches left. But you guys know what I'm saying. But anyways, congratulations to the class of 2023. I wish you all the best in life. Good job, Kyra, and the class historian of 2023. So at this time, it is my great pleasure to introduce our senior band students. They are led by Mr. Hurst and will be playing a special production for us today. Our senior band students could come on over to the, uh, the band section.
questions. Awesome, excellent job, senior band. So it's now my pleasure to be able to honor the next group of students, our valedictorians. These students, in addition to having the high, the high school's highest four-year cumulative grade point average, also had to achieve academic distinction to qualify for their title. Academic distinction includes two years of foreign language, one extra year of either math or science, no more than one credit of pass-fail, and no more than three semesters of either TA or peer tutor or mentor classes. I would like to honor these students with a plaque representing their high level of achievement at Colville High School. As the students receive their plaques, they will also be giving their valedictorian speeches. The first valedictorian I'd like to call up is Luke Anderson. Good afternoon, everyone. I'm going to keep this brief because we have eight more speeches to come. The day has finally come when we all throw our caps. Over 13 years of learning with my classmates has brought ups and downs to my life. One constant through all of it has been the opportunity to wake up each day with a new slate. No matter the outcome of the previous day, you always had the opportunity to start the next day with a smile on your face. The same can be said for the future of all of us. Each one of us will choose a different path, unique to our own skills and preferences. Each of us will encounter different obstacles that we must overcome. No matter what path we take, we will have to learn to let go of what we can't control. It makes no sense stressing over the little things. So my message to the class of 2023 is to give your best and be happy with the outcome. The only thing you can control is your effort. And when the hard times come, just remember that tomorrow gives you a new opportunity to seize the day. Like Matthew McConaughey once said, you just got to keep living, man. L-I-V-I-N. Thank you. Our next valedictorian coming up is Bailey Benson. As many of you know, public speaking might be one of my biggest fears, but it's an honor to be able to address my senior class minutes before ending a huge chapter in our lives. I could stand here and thank my parents and grandparents, but I think they know that ultimately my success began with their conf confidence in me. Who I would like to focus on is my senior class. None of us understood at the moment, but our academic obstacles, relationship challenges, and for some of us, multiple vehicular accidents were working their magic on preparing us for the real world. Now we are all headed in different directions, starting new adventures on our own paths, and I couldn't be more excited for us. As for my fellow Vals, I'm extremely proud and grateful that we are finally, finally standing here on this stage, delivering our speeches that we've been stressing about for a few months now. From leadership to calculus, we all earned our A's in different ways, working our tails off to complete the biggest task we have ever been up against. Our drive wasn't external. We all desired that feeling of success, and we got it, with lots of failing and growing along the way. We learned that achievement isn't instant, but that persistence leads to immense feelings of accomplishment. It's a realization that benefits all. In the end, our journey has just begun. So with that, thank you, class of 2023. I'd like to introduce our next valedictorian, Bailey Darnold.
Okay. Good morning, good afternoon. It's kind of the awkward in between right now. Um, I'm feeling a little uneasy here, not because of the people, but because I feel like me winning best dressed is definitely not being reflected in this. Um, I'm gonna start off by saying that, yeah, maybe being up here reflects perseverance and motivation and learning. But aside from those, I wanna talk about how during our high school career, we learned how to laugh. And when I say laugh, I mean laugh. I lost my spot. <laughs> One sec. One sec. Um, that means trying to find enjoyment in all the things we had to do. So if that means me whipping out two Hot Wheels cars in class to mess with, wearing funky clothes, eating a lot, probably way too much, of Mr. Long's popcorn, singing along to music in either one of the Peterman's class, then so be it. It's me sitting on my desks and laying on them, and it's me talking way too much when I definitely had too much caffeine. It's not wearing shoes at appropriate times and feeling 10 times better when I'm dressed up or have on a new shirt that's probably from Goodwill, if you know me. It's no matter what our class did, we did it in a way that's definitely unique to us. I'm a firm believer that the way we've always done it is not always the right way and that thinking outside the box is what gets you standing up on top of this one. There were many days when I did not want to show up to class, but I can assure you that every day I would end up laughing with one of these people. And with that, I think that our ability to be human and have humor is how all of us are gonna make an impact someday. Thank you. I'd like to introduce our next valedictorian, Maggie Hedrick. Okay. Good afternoon, everybody. For as long as I can remember, the year 2023 has been ingrained in our heads as a deadline for everything we've worked towards. Well, to the rest of my class, sorry guys, we're finally here. One day, I made a random discovery, 2027, my college graduation year. In my mind, I hadn't yet considered there to be more past our sheltered four years in a small town high school. I'd like to believe it's my academic drive that has led me to focus solely on the spring of 2023, but I'm not kidding anyone with that one. After my mini freak out about life after graduating, I've realized we've unknowingly been preparing ourselves for the real world. Throughout high school, we found a balance between school and life. We prepared ourselves intellectually thanks to our extensive education, but also socially by having those stupid teenage memories. After some self-reflection, life after 2023 doesn't sound so daunting anymore. We have grown as people and are more prepared to face the real world than we might believe. Now it's just time to trust ourselves, go out, and show everyone else what we've learned. Thank you. Next valedictorian coming up is Kaylin Malone. Thank you. I remember being told my freshman year to enjoy high school because it's the fastest four years of your life. I completely agreed with this statement until about halfway through senior year when it started to feel like high school was never going to end, and I was going to be a senior forever. Um, uh, lost it. Senioritis is the phrase often used to describe this, and it is a phrase I'm sure many of you are familiar with. I remember talking to my family at some point during the past year, and during this conversation, my sisters decided that they too were suffering from senioritis. My sisters are in eighth and 10th grade. <laughs> Point is, I think we all suffer from the senioritis mentality sometimes. Maybe the term needs to be a broader name, like work-itis or school-itis or maybe even life-itis, if we're being completely honest. All jokes aside, this mentality is something that I've really had to overcome 
this past year. Senior year, as draining and long as it may have been, was a gift. It's a time in my life that I will never get back. So as far as of wisdom, words of wisdom, I want to leave you all with this. Whatever it is that you're going through and whatever season of your life you are in, don't fall into the senioritis mentality. Treat every day for what it is, which is a blessing, and make the most of every opportunity. Finally, I have some thank yous I would like to say. First and foremost, I owe this great honor to God because without him, I truly am nothing. Next, I would like to thank my family for their endless love and support. I want to thank my friends for getting me through high school and for all of the memories we've made and will continue to make. And I would like to thank my teachers and coaches for, every, for always pushing me to be my best. And last but not least, I would like to thank all of you for coming out to support us today as we take this next step in our lives. So thank you all. Our next valedictorian coming up is Dusty Palm. All right, 2023. Those four numbers have been shoved into our faces since before we could read. Back then, they meant so little. Back then, all we focused on was catching butterflies and tying our shoes. Our world seemed so small, but all at once, we discovered the truth. Our world is bigger than we can imagine. With darkness and light to weigh through your path, of all the places you could be, you are right here with potential beyond a million years. So don't stop now, because 2023 is an achievement for both you and me. Today we set aside our differences and celebrate each other. Our time here at Calva High School has been nothing, something special. <laughs> Truly, I never thought this day would come, as many of you probably feel the same. I've waited my whole life for this moment, but now I'm here. I feel uncertain because the realization that I'm growing up has set in. There are new challenges to face in a world to explore outside of high school. So for today, forget the cliques and the stereotype, and let's all celebrate each other because this is one of the last times we're all here together. Our next valedictorian coming up will be Lily Redberg. Hey y'all, I'm gonna try really hard not to cry because if you know me, I'm definitely a crier. <laughs> um, all right, I'll get into it. My mom always told me to appreciate being a kid, but I think I took growing up for granted. I was always wishing for the next thing, but never appreciating the time I had. And now, standing here on the stage today, I would give anything to go back and be a little kid again. When I was five, I wanted to be 10 so I could hit double digits and be a big girl. When I was 10, I wanted to be 13 so I could be a teenager and have a phone. When I was 13, I wanted to be 16 so I could drive and get a job. When I was 16, all I wanted to be was 18 so I could be an adult and have my life put together. But now that I'm 18, I'm realizing that I definitely do not have my life put together. And I don't think the majority of us do. But and I think in a way, that's the fun part, you know? The unknown. It's where you achieve something that you never thought was possible. It's where you have heartbreak and loss. But most importantly, it's where you learn your biggest life lessons. And piece by piece, you can slowly get your life together. The next chapter of our lives is the unknown. And to have this opportunity today is a blessing. I just know that when I'm 70, and hopefully not in diapers, I would be looking back to these golden moments, wishing I could do anything to go back and live it all over. Every part of me is so excited to grow up and move on, but another part of me is still trying to soak up the moments of high school because it definitely does not last forever, as I've learned. I just know that you never know what you have until you don't have it anymore, and I think it's finally hitting me. So I guess what I'm saying is don't take growing up for granted and embrace the unknown. Appreciate your time with your friends and classmates because you may never see them again after you give that diploma. 
We, the class of 2023, are closing out an important era in our lives. But the next chapter is coming up, and don't forget to cherish every single moment. Thank you. Our next valedictorian coming up is Sadie Renfro. We live in a world where people make fun of you for wearing Crocs with dresses. We live in a world where it is so easy to make friends and also lose them in the same breath. We live in a world that is full of loss and pain and betrayal. We live in a world that is full of true kindness and support and companionship, where love can flourish and dreams can be fulfilled. Our class motto is one step at a time, but always forward. High school has felt like 23 steps backwards, 23 assignments after 23 assignments, 23 tests after 23 tests, 23 classes after 23 classes. But we're moving forward into life now as the class of 23, somewhere where we can grow into who we are, somewhere we can be better versions of ourselves, somewhere where we aren't confined in toxic walls and we can decide where life takes us, somewhere where we can be confident enough, despite what others say about us, to wear our Crocs with our dresses. Thank you. Okay, and our final valedictorian for today is Ashton Swim. Hello, everybody. I'm Ashton Swim, yet another one of your valedictorians, luckily the last one. Uh, I'm going to try to make this fast for you so all you beautiful parents could... Uh, get to see your beautiful children. Uh, so I have something a little different. It's a poem, so I'm just gonna dive right into it after I thank my parents. So thank you, Mom and Dad. Thank you, Sarah Darnell, And thank you, my cat, Crispy, and my dog. Uh, so here we go. I get, okay, so this is the poem, part two. Part two of my speech. I gave it everything I had, pushed myself to my max knowing that one day I'd look back and not have any regrets. Life is short, it moves so fast, so why waste any time? I'd rather die exhausted than leave potential behind. There were times I stumbled, but I never truly lost, for a true winner gets back up and shows what they're made of. I'm not done yet, I have more to give, but I'm proud of where I've been. I'll keep pushing until the end, until my heart can finally sing. So let this be a lesson to everyone out there. Don't settle for less than your best and show the world you care. Thank you, everybody. It's uh, my pleasure to honor the next student, our salutatorian. This student has graduated with a cumulative GPA of 3.99 throughout their four years at Kavala High School. In addition to grade point average, the student also had to achieve academic distinction to qualify for their title. I would like to honor our salutatorian with a plaque representing their high level achievement here at CHS. Our salutatorian for the class of 23 is Cannon Thompson. So let's give one more round of applause for the valedictorians and salutatorians. So 
So this is the time we've all been waiting for, the presentation of the diplomas. I would like to introduce our counselors, Mrs. Caldwell and Mr. Cleveland. They will be reading the names and the accomplishments of the graduating seniors as they walk across the stage. Dusty Rain Palm, valedictorian, academic distinction, vocational distinction, 12-year senior, Silver Public Service Award. <clears throat> Bailey Louise Darnold, valedictorian, academic distinction, vocational distinction, 12-year senior, Gold Public Service Award. <laughs> Bailey Ann Benson, valedictorian, academic distinction, vocational distinction, Washington State Honors Award, and Gold Public Service Award. <laughs> Luke Michael Anderson, Valedictorian, Academic Distinction, Vocational Distinction, Washington State Honors Award, 12-Year Senior, Gold Public Service Award. <laughs> Lily Grace Redberg, Valedictorian, Academic Distinction, Vocational Distinction, Gold Public Service Award. Kaylin Lorraine Malone, Valedictorian, Academic Distinction, Washington State Honors Award, Associate of Arts degree from Spokane Community College, and Gold Public Service Award. <clears throat> Sadie Ray Renfro, Valedictorian, Academic Distinction, Associate of Arts degree from Spokane Community College and Washington State Honors Award. <laughs> Ashton Brock Swim, Valedictorian, Academic Distinction, Associate of Arts from Spokane Community College and Silver Public Service Award. Cannon Ray Thompson, salutatorian, academic distinction, vocational distinction, Washington State Honors Award, and 12-year senior. <clears throat> Maggie Lee Hedrick, valedictorian, academic distinction, Washington State Honors Award, 12-year senior, and Silver Public Service Award. Kyra Jean Beardsley, High Honors, Academic Distinction, Associates of Arts, Spokane Community College, and a 12-year Colville School District Senior. <laughs> Violet Grace Johnston, High Honors, Academic Distinction, Associates of Arts, Spokane Community College. <clears throat> S 
Sonia Georgi honors. Hayden Samuel Sattler, 12 year Colville School Senior. Cameron Paul Steen. Jason Allen Hayward, 12 year Colville School District Senior. Reed Sean Larson, high honors. Connor James Kitt, honors, 12-year Colville School District Senior. It's Yvonne. 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 Dallas Yvonne, Qu <laughs> sorry, Qualls, high honors, academic distinction, vocational distinction. Hadley Renee Seaman, High Honors, Academic Distinction, Vocational Distinction. Kara Ann Grittner, High Honors, Academic Distinction, Washington State Honors Award, and Gold Public Service Award. <laughs> Mina J. Faramond, High Honors, Academic Distinction, National Merit Scholar, Washington State Honors Award, 12-year senior, Gold Public Service Award. Zachary Greg Sanders, 12-year senior. Samuel L. Ranner. Robert Joseph Magruder, honors, 12-year senior. Jet L. Clift. Austin Ty Burt, 12 year senior. Mitchell Corey Lindquist, honors, 12 year senior. Dakota Carl Hooper, 12-year senior. <laughs> Tegan Pratt Connolly, 12-year senior. Jordan Andrew Horn, 12-year Colville School District Senior. Okay. 
Clayton Daniel Faust, 12 year Colville School District Senior. Fox David Bateman, High Honors, Academic Distinction, Vocational Distinction, Washington State Honors Award, and a 12-year Colville School District Senior. <laughs> Kale Thomas Roy, High Honors, Academic Distinction, Vocational Distinction, 12-year Colville School District Senior, and Silver Public Service Award. <laughs> Mia Eleanor Gaynor, Honors, and an Associate of Art from Spokane Community College. Jordan Elaine True, High Honors, Academic Distinction, Vocational Distinction, Washington State Honors Award, and 12-year Colville School District Senior. <laughs> Alan William McCarrigan, Honors, 12-year 12 12 Colville School District Senior. Addison Emmeline Darnold, High Honors Academic Distinction, 12-year Colville School District Senior, Gold Public Service Award. <laughs> Riley Angelina Dyer, Honors and an Associates of Art at Spokane Community College, 12-year Colville Senior District. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Jarrett Williams Morris, High Honors, Academic Distinction and Vocational Distinction. Peyton Elizabeth Abrams, High Honors. <laughs> Abigail Patricia Johnson, High Honors. <laughs> Malia Jean Danford, Honors, 12 year senior. Taya Nicole Fogel, Honors, 12-year senior. Grace Rose Chevelle, 12-year senior. Lily Hope Young, Honors. Skyler Grace Anderson, 12 year senior. <laughs> Kaylee Marie Skeels, honors. <laughs> Deja Marie Koziel, high honors, vocational distinction. Jackson Lee Rains, 12 year senior.
Gavin B. Delp, 12 year senior. Azariah Bishop. Andrew John Bronze, 12 year senior. Caden Paul McLaughlin. Kyra Lynn Rachel Nielsen, high honors. Zach Anthony Guatney. Riley J. Swim, honors and silver community service. Amelia Paisley Vanderholm. RMA Swim Honors. Jalen Marina Jones Honors. Isabella Elena Fox, 12 year senior. Martin David Aguilar, 12 year senior. Cole Jonathan Hancock. Trinity Cobb. Alexander Jameson Granis. Jalen Lane Baker, high honors, 12 year senior. Travis Edward Downey, high honors, Eagle Scout. Bradley James Hook, honors. Gavin A. Pierce, honors, 12 year senior. Evan Leroy Ritchie. Cammy Dawn Rogers, honors 12 year senior. Yeah. 
Tia Marie Wilson, 12 year senior. Aiden Christopher Yost, 12 year senior. Skylar Blake Patrick. Zachary Peter McCombs, honors 12 year senior. Bryce Christopher Otak. Lily Ann Landwehr. Haley Jade Yost. Eugene Alexander Patrick. Isaac Wesley Zinka. Troy Allen Castile. <laughs> Heidi K. Schrader. <laughs> Aliyah Lisa May Owens, 12 year senior. Dakota D. Laramie, 12 year senior. <laughs> Trinity May Hickok. Victoria Sue Ann Newcomer, 12 year senior. Emma Ann Slayton. Jasmine N. Dyes. Haley Sapphire Honeycutt, 12 year senior. Casey L. Strange. Jasmine Lee Gleave, 12 year senior. Emily, Mer I'm sorry, Emily Renee Beringa, 12 year senior. Kaylee M. Siders, 12 year senior. Caitlin Jade Brown. Thank you. Thank you. 
Nikolai Alejandro Smith, 12 year senior. Kimberly Elizabeth Kalani Owens, honors. Lucas J. Sanders, 12 year senior. Ethan Chandler Farrell. Abigail McKay Hess. Ileana Abigail Reeves. Andrew Joseph Sinise, Jr. Haley Marie Webley. Ryan Jeffrey Pierce, high honors, 12 year senior. Emmett James Marshall, honors, 12 year senior. Colby Lee McAvoy, high honors, academic distinction, vocational distinction, Washington State honors, 12 year senior, and silver public service award. Kave Jones Faramond, high honors. We also have one more senior that couldn't be with us today. Uh, Grayson Lillian Taylor Clemens. Okay, we're almost there. Um, at this time, let's give one more round of applause for our seniors. Okay, Superintendent Knight and the Board of Directors, I certify that each student who walked across the stage today has met the requirement for graduation as set forth by the State of Washington and Colville School District. Please let me introduce Mr. Knight. Thank you, Mr. Gross. On behalf of Colville School District Board of Trustees, on this third day of June in 2023, and as the superintendent of Colville School District, I'm honored to accept the 116th graduating class of Colville High School.
We're almost there, you're seeing it. Just hold on one sec. Keep those happy. Great job. I would like to thank the parents and the community for helping raise these students. I would also like to thank Superintendent Knight and the Board of Directors for ensuring that all students at CHS have an opportunity to meet their goals. And finally, I would like to thank the CHS staff who have nurtured, instructed, and guided the students on a successful four-year journey. So with no further ado, Colville School District Board of Trustees, parents, community members, friends, and families, it is my distinct honor to introduce to you the class of 2023 graduates of Colville High School. Grads, you may now throw your hats. You join the graduates on the field. Thank you and have a safe and joyous celebration.